There are five vocabulary words that you're going to need to know for this section. The first one is transversal. A transversal is a line that intersects two or more other lines. So in this diagram, we have three lines. One of those lines is a transversal. And the line that's the transversal is this one because it intersects this line here and this line here. So this horizontal line is our transversal. Our second vocabulary word is corresponding angles. They are the angles formed by transversals that have corresponding positions. Corresponding means matching. Alternate interior angles. They're the angles that lie between the two lines, between means interior, inside, and on opposite sides of the transversal. Opposite means alternating. Alternating means off, on, left, right, above, below. It means switching. Alternate exterior angles are angles that lie outside the two lines. They're in the exterior and on opposite sides of the transversal they alternate. And the final one is consecutive interior angles. They're on the same side of the transversal. They're consecutive. Consecutive means one right after the other. So let's number our angles created. If you notice, this transversal and these two lines create eight angles. Number your angles this way. Angle one, angle two, angle three, and angle four. Five and six and seven and eight. So let's describe the kinds of angles we have. Angle one and angle four. Here's angle one. Here's angle four. One and four form a linear pair. And since they form a linear pair, they have to be adjacent, right next to each other, and supplementary. They sum to 180 degrees. Now, a linear pair was a blast from the past. We covered linear pair way back in chapter one. But we still have to remember that definition and what it means. One and three. Well, here's angle one, here's angle three. They share a vertex, but their sides form two lines. That means that one and three are vertical. And by the vertical angles theorem, vertical angles will be congruent. Let's look at one and five. Here's angle one, here's angle five. They're on different lines. They're on the same transversal, but they're formed by two different lines. So if I look at angle one, and I draw a box around these four angles, and I look at angle five, and I draw a box around these four angles, angle one is in the upper left corner, angle five is in the upper left corner. They're both in the upper left corners. They're matching their corresponding angles. Now, one and five aren't the only pair of corresponding angles, but they're an example. Every angle has a corresponding angle with it, like four and eight and two and six and three and seven. If we look at one and seven, here's angle one, here's angle seven. If we look at our two lines, one and seven are both outside those two lines. So one and seven are exterior angles, and one is above the transversal, and seven is below the transversal. So they're on opposite sides of the transversal. So they are alternating exterior angles.
Now, 1 and 7 aren't the only pair of alternate exterior angles. 2 and 8 are also exterior, alternate exterior angles. If we look at 4 and 6, 4 and 6 are between my two lines. They're on the inside, they're interior. And 4 is above the transversal, 6 is below. Above and below alternate, they're on opposite sides, and they're between my two lines, they are alternate interior angles. Angles 4 and 5 are both between the two lines, but they're on the same side of the transversal. 4 is above, 5 is above. But if you think of it this way, they go one right after the other. 4 and 5 are consecutive interior angles. And finally, 1 and 8. Now your book doesn't think you're smart enough to handle 1 and 8. But 1 and 8, 1's exterior, it's outside of my two lines, and 8's exterior. And they're both above my transversal. So they are same side exterior angles. In fact, they are consecutive exterior angles. Your book doesn't go that far to include consecutive exterior angles. I just want you to realize that they are out there and you might see them in the future. So these are the five kinds of angles, or excuse me, the four kinds of angles that we learned today, along with a couple other kinds of angles that we had from before. Make sure you understand how to identify all the different kinds of angles in this diagram.